you're starting. Uh, Peter asked, what is the formal way to greet a monk in Sri Lanka? And is it different from other countries? Is high bante acceptable? Hmm. I, I think high bante you can say when you're familiar. I would possibly call, say, high bante if I meet um, bante yutadamo somewhere here in the monastery. Um, if it's an official occasion or a monk you don't know, don't say hi bante, I would say. Rather, um, mm, uh, say namasa khan bante, or... Uh, That's Thai, you know? No, isn't it? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> okay, so then high, don't say that. High corruption of the word uh, namaskara. Which namaskara? It should be namaste, no? Namaste bante. I would say that's th that would be. But namaste is also no good because that's Sanskrit. Well, I mean, sorry to jump in, but uh, yeah, that's fine. If w would you say hi, father, to a priest or hi, brother, to a, uh, a Christian monk? I don't. I don't think people normally would if they have respect for the person they would I would think at least say hello father or something like that because I mean Bhante is not a nickname <laughs> it's a title of respect it's like hi venerable I guess you could say it but it, it's, uh, it's you know I mean it gets ridiculous if you like say hi your majesty or something like that you don't really for a king or something but it's not on that level but it, because of the the fact that bante is a title of respect, I, I think high bante is a little bit um, too informal. Mm. It differs from country to country, as we uh, experienced just now. Um, in Thailand, you would say namasakan ajan uh, or namasakan brajan, um, and um, you would, in most uh, countries, I think, put your hands together and uh, don't look straight into the face in, in the beginning. Later in the conversation, yes, but in the beginning, have the head a little bit lowered or the, the even a little bit bent or so. Um, if it's an important monk, the, the more important the monk, the deeper the bow, Oh, uh, and things like that. Mm. Yeah, I mean, here in Sri Lanka, they they touch their hands to your feet. If people will do that when they respect you, and we do that when we respect the senior monk. We oh. touch we touch our head actually to the feet of the elder, yeah. and people do that for their parents here. And so or, or I learned here in Sri Lanka from the bhikkhunis who have stayed in Sri Lanka before me that we do. Uh, like people do to the Queen of England, I don't know how is that how that is called, but yeah, um, probably like mm. um, and with the palms together, so that would the the appropriate greeting for uh, a bhikkhuni to greet a higher monk. And we we were talking about the word bante because. I'm still pretty adamant that it's masculine, but that's really a grammatical question. Uh, they'll often say ay ay, or you could say bade, I think, but no one would, no one uses it. So, but I think you could. Looking at the because it is used, there's two two angels talking together, and one says calls the other bante. The f female calls the male bante, and the male turns around and calls the female bade, which they're actually. Pretty much the same word, just one's masculine, one's feminine. Mm. It's not not so clear. They are not asking for. Mm. Okay. <laughs>